Hi, in this video, I am going to be talking about enhancing versus non-enhancing masses on MRI. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We put out three videos a week, so we're always putting out new content. This video is being produced in response to a couple readers and viewers and subscribers who've put a comment asking us to talk about this. Before I do that, I'm going to just talk briefly about a, what an MRI is, why we would do it, and whether or not they're recommended for uh, people, for everybody with breast cancer. Then I'll talk about enhancing versus non-enhancing masses. MRIs are a form of imaging that we use really in any part of the body. Breast MRIs are done with a magnetic coil that's dedicated just for use for breast MRIs. An MRI machine is one of those scans that makes a lot of noise. You'll get ear protection if you have one, and if you've had one, you'll probably not forget it. MRIs are done in people primarily for treatment planning. So we don't recommend, in general, that MRIs be done as part of screening. There are some people in whom MRIs will be recommended for screening in people with an inherited susceptibility to breast cancer. For example, we would recommend an MRI for most people who have an inherited susceptibility to try to detect cancer early. When we use MRI for treatment planning, it's because we see something or feel something and we need to know, is that also malignant? There are times when it can be helpful to get an MRI to determine the extent of disease. For example, people with lobular breast cancer generally don't present with a mass that we can feel, rather the cells move along in the breast in single file, so it's harder to feel a mass and it's harder to know in some people the extent of the cancer, and an MRI can be helpful for that. MRIs are also useful, as I mentioned, if there's something on mammogram or the physical exam, and we need to know is that cancer in addition to the one we already know about. We generally don't recommend MRIs for everybody regarding treatment planning because we do tend to pick up non-disease. This will delay your treatment, can lead to a lot of anxiety, a lot of extra biopsies and things that make you more frightened and uh, haven't been shown to improve outcome. So even when used for treatment planning, in general, studies have not shown it improves recurrence rate or survival. And so that's why we don't incorporate MRIs into everybody's treatment. So if you've had an MRI and there is a mass seen, the mass is usually described as enhancing or non-enhancing. MRIs of the breast are given, are done first without contrast and then are done with contrast, which is injected into your vein. And then that mass either enhances with the contrast or it doesn't. When masses don't enhance, that tends to be associated with a non-cancerous condition. We need to be really careful, though, not to rely on just any scan or a scan. We have to combine that with the physical exam and any biopsy that's been done. In a tumor that enhances, that takes up the contrast, that usually means there's more blood vessel growth in that mass. And that generally makes us think more highly that this would be cancer and would lead, for example, to a recommendation to have a biopsy of that area as well as the known cancer. In general, if somebody has a non-enhancing mass and we're, we have no other clues that it's cancer, no follow-up is necessary. In some people who have a known cancer and then another mass that's, mass that's enhancing, they may choose to have more extensive surgery because they don't want to live with the fear that this is a cancer, but that's, again, not been shown to improve outcomes. So we have to look at physical exam, at any pathology, biopsy, for example, and the imaging together. And this is the case really with all people who are being evaluated for possible breast cancer. I hope this has been helpful. I've covered a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. 
You can drop a comment or question below sharing your experience. Although I can't give medical advice and Yerba in general doesn't give medical advice, we can give you more in-depth information that may be helpful for people like you. Thanks for watching.